This video will show you how to download the data files required for the tutorial and case problems from the textbook. To begin, log into the course on my.msjc.edu and go to the Assignments page. At the top of the page you should see four gray boxes. The second box contains the link to the textbook companion website. HTTP bit.ly slash np dash a underscore student. Click on the link to open the textbook companion website. When the website opens, choose data files from the menu on the left side of the window. You will see a list of data file links related to your textbook. Click on the link data files for text. This is a fairly large file, 5.3 megabytes, so it may take a minute to download. If you're using Firefox, click on Save File. Double click the .exe file from the download window and click Run on the Open File dialog box. If you're using Internet Explorer, click on Run. This will launch the WinZip self-extractor window. Navigate to where you want to save the file by clicking on the Browse button. I'm going to unzip the files to a folder on the desktop called Access Data Files. You will need to set up this folder before you attempt to extract the files. Then click on Unzip. You should see a message that says the files were unzipped successfully. Click OK. You can verify that the files downloaded by going to the location where you unzipped them, in my case the Access Data Files folder, and there they are. To locate a particular file, you would double click on the tutorial folder, for example Access Tutorials 1 through 4. Then, double-click the project you want to work on, for example, Case 1. Remember, these assignments will build on each other, so you will be using the data file School to begin Tutorial 1. Then, for Tutorials 2 through 4, you will use the School file you completed for the previous tutorial. You will need the other files from this folder to complete specific tasks throughout Tutorials 1 through 4. I hope that demystifies the process of downloading and using the data files. Let me know if you have any other questions.